Just like that. So here I have braided all four of the LED uh, channels that are going to go to the DMX controller and go up to the Mohawk. I've had previous experience trying to run a tether up uh, from the helmet, you know, up my shoulders or something like that, all the way down to the floor. When you're playing metal and you're moving around a lot, uh, these wires tend to get stressed and they're not very durable to begin with, they're kind of thin. So this allows them to flex when getting pulled and the loose spaces in between here when they tighten up they all rest on each other's jackets and that spreads out the load uh, on the surface area of the jackets so it's just one thing that I've learned now you can go to any standard um, I don't know beauty YouTube channel or Cub Scouts or something like that to find out how to do it but I'll just show you right here so if you've got if you've got four, you're going to cross these two, and then you're going to bring them to the outside, and you're going to cross these two. You're going to bring this to the outside, and then you're going to cross these two, and then bring them to the outside, and then and cross these. So you're just basically repeating that over and over again. It's like basket weaving, kind of, but I've never done that. Now it's time to wire these to the actual Mohawk and to the DMX controller. Okay, so here's another trick on how to get wires to behave themselves. You just get your uh, little screw gun, your drill, and put the two wires or three or four wires, however many you want in there. I think there's a tool for this, but this is the way I do it. So you just get it in there nice and tight. Stand as far back as possible. Hold it nice and tight, but not too tight. So now we have this pretty wire. Everything's all together. It's going to like bunch up a little bit like this. You're just going to want to, just like the old telephone cords, if anybody remembers that, you're just going to want to let it dangle for a little bit and uh, find itself. But once it does, you'll have this nice wire that you can zip tie to the braid and run these side by side and uh, this will control the flashing LED strip and this will control all the LED channels, the RGB channels. In addition to heat shrinking all of these to the Molex connector that's going to connect to the Mohawk, I wanted to show you that for the positive lead, not only did I use heat shrink tubing, but I also wrapped this in some friction tape. Uh, it's kind of like a felt uh, felt material, and what it does is, when you get a lot of rubbing back and forth, this will absorb a lot of that, and it won't allow the heat shrink tubing to chafe and eventually give way and touch the other wires. Uh, since these are all negative, I don't have to worry about it. If they touch each other, then they touch each other. It doesn't matter. It's just gonna light more of the lights up that aren't supposed to light up but this here is the positive and it's isolated from all the other ones. Now I can zip tie it and it won't have to, it won't have to worry about anything touching in the future. And beyond that, we're just gonna go all the way down the line. Yay, beautiful. Now one thing I did was I kept, I kept the red and black together and put it on one side of the braid going all the way down. So with, with this many wires, with this being twisted and this being braided, all of these together, when something pulls, there should be enough shock absorption that I don't have to worry about this giving way. What we're gonna do now is, I'm gonna take this piece right here, I'm gonna gently taper off the stress point so that when this is moving around, just like the heat shrink tubing is here, I'm gonna taper it down so that when it's moving around a lot like this, it'll absorb that force. All right, that's what I'm talking about. There's three layers of heat shrink. One's kind of tough, and these two are kind of soft, and they all overlap. So we take our torch. Now when this bends, 
See how we're holding it out like this? Even though it's going to be angled like this, this piece is gradually going to be flexible. It's going to put less stress on this joint and this joint. Just like that.